In this tutorial we're going to be opening up the files that we exported from 3D Studio Max and Maya for the first time in FaceFX Studio. We're going to get some warnings and investigate what these are. So we're going to go to the console tab and warnings and the first warning is that Ogre couldn't find a .scene or a .mesh file for this FaceFX file so we're not going to be able to see any character here until we fix that. So we're going to go and change the render asset for this to one that it can find. It's going to look in the My Documents FaceFX Studio 2009 Ogre Resources meshes and all of these folders for its Ogre files. And that's where we saved these the mesh and the scene file and we called it Slade. And so now that once we've changed that, uh, that error is fixed. The next error is, or the warning, is that it created the default mapping for us and that's fine that's the the mapping that we are going to use and at this point our character has a bunch of bone poses that we exported from Max or Maya and we're gonna lay out the graph and we need to hook these bone poses up to combiner nodes so that they're a little more useful to animate with and we've got a script for Slade that does that and we can call that script by using the exec, exec function uh, this is what the script looks like. It's basically just a list of face effects commands that's going to uh, link up these combiner nodes, these bone pose nodes into combiner nodes so that we can animate more usefully. And the other option that we are going to use to help set up our character is to uh, sync to a template. This can accomplish the same thing as far as setting up the face graph um, which we've already done, but we can also sync to the color map, uh, workspaces, cameras, uh, and other things uh, with the template. So we're going to sync to this template. You see we've updated our, our color map a little bit. And now we have a character that can really be animated. And so if we were to, let's say, go to the eyebrow raise node, we can turn on auto turn on auto workspace and now we can ramp up the eyebrow raise node which is a combiner node created in that script which internally drives both the eyebrow raise left and eyebrow raise right bone pose nodes and so you can see when we raise that that both of the eyebrows go up our script is working and this auto workspace feature is a very handy one indeed we can select a bunch of nodes or curves and then key them and drive them right from the Ogre workspace. So now we have a character ready for animating and we're going to be analyzing a file in the next tutorial.